Today's Madden 18 tip is going to show you guys how to score more touchdowns in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new and just checking out the YouTube channel, I just want to ask you to go ahead and watch this entire video and then at the end of the video, if you can do me a favor and leave a comment in the comment description uh, section and let me know what you thought of the channel and what are some things that I can do to improve my YouTube channel uh, to help you guys get better at Madden 18. All right, guys, so let's get into this. The first thing that I want to ask, the basic question that I want to answer is how do you score more touchdowns in Madden 18? And the way that I want to do that is I want to talk to you about red zone offense, and also I want to talk to you about high percentage passes. So the first thing I want to tackle is high percentage passing. High percentage passing is basically taking what the defense gives you, running your offense in a way that allows you to take what the defense is going to give you. So when, whenever someone runs off coverage, there's really two things um, that I recommend that you do. The first thing is to run an out pattern of some type, a deep smart routed out route to the wide side of the field, as you saw I just did there. And you could do that from any formation. It's just a, a simple hot route. And then the second thing for high percentage passing is to motion out a slant route. Those are the two Biggest ways to have high percentage passing in Madden 18. So here he goes press coverage. So I'm going to audible to PA post and I'm going to run a motion out slant pattern. Um, and I'm going to get sacked because I didn't hit my check down to my running back. Another thing that's really critical with high percentage passing is even though more than likely the slant will be open, you have to have your hot reads. You have to have your hot reads and you have to hit them. And it's very critical that you do that because if you don't, then you're then you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because they're going to be able to send some pressure at you and you're not going to be able to handle it and you're going to get frustrated and you're going to quit or you're going to throw interceptions. The key is with high percentage passing is to alleviate pressure from the quarterback. So you want to have short, quick passes, kind of like a West Coast style. Um, and this little out route to the back is beautiful for that. It's something that I really think can really take your game to the next level if you use these quick outs to the back to get the ball up the field and using these high percentage passing tactics will help you in about the 10 yard line to 10 yard line window that that 20 or those those 80 to 90 yards there. That's what's going to help you. Another thing that's going to help you score more touchdowns uh, when you're talking about the high percentage passing technique is to run fewer plays. And I talk about this all the time. And the basic premise that I want to take and I want to encourage you guys to do is run fewer plays. And the reason I suggest that, the reason that it's so ingrained in everything that I do is because it is so critical for you guys to realize that execution is the game. You need to focus in on a couple of plays. Maybe I, I would suggest about five about five, and you need to run them better than anyone else. You need to run them better than anyone else because if you cannot execute a play, then all it is is a piece of writing on a blackboard. If you can execute the play, then it can be more than that. But the only way that you can get there is through the execution to perfection. Okay, so continue to practice and train yourself to focus more on execution than you do anything else for your offense. Um, as you can see here, I end up turning the ball over because I can't make a spin move. But anyways, that is, that's the critical thing. And then in the red zone, I want to give you a couple tips um, for the red zone real quick. So the red zone, um, the basic premise for me is to run the ball. I think you should just run the ball in the red zone this year. That is, is the place to start. And what I, where I would start is a single back ace halfback power O out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. If you go if you go to the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook, you click on the play halfback power O from single back ace, it will get you probably 60% of the time walk-in touchdowns. Now, um, if you don't want to use the power O or if they are adjusting well and stopping that, then I suggest two things. The first one is to throw a high point pass. You do that by holding left, um, by holding L1, and then holding down on the button you want to throw it to. So, for example, if I'm throwing it to circle receiver on a post route, 
then um, I'm going to hold L1 and throw it or LB if you're playing on Xbox. Now, the key with this, the key with this is to use it from the gun empty bunch. And I'll give you one other tactic here. The gun empty bunch, and before I tell you the play, what I, wanted, what I want you to do is those of you guys who are interested in taking your offensive game to the next level, I want you to check out the Madden 18 premium membership. The premium membership is in the description right now. You can purchase that premium membership. It's going to tell you every single thing that I know about offense in Madden. And it's going to help you develop your own system, your own scheme, teach you how to create your own plays. Um, but real quick, I'm going to, I'm going to run this back to about the one yard line here. Um, actually I'm not cause I got tackled, but here's the play. So you come out, you come out in this, in the shotgun bunch, empty bunch, and the play that you're going to select, you don't have to select Z-Spot. You can select anything. I like the divide wheel. That's my favorite play to come out in. But anyways, you come out in that, and you click audible up to the Z-Spot. And what you're going to do is you're going to smart route Conley's route. And what I also like to do on this is I like to look first to this quick flat to the running back. I find these quick flats really, really effective this season. I don't know what it is about this year's game in particular, but the quick flats are just really, really effective this year. I don't know why, um, but I find PA Post, Z-Spot to have these quick flats as a critical element of my offense to make them respect the flats. However, the main route on this play, make no mistake, is the circle route. So again, you want to smart route that. And then when he cuts to the inside, you just hold LB for that high point, And you're going to get a nice little aggressive catch animation. Now, the only other thing that I want to suggest to you before you guys leave, this is the last thing. And I actually think this is the most effective way to score in the red zone. The down, the quick audible down is quarterback draw. What you're going to do is you're going to motion heel to the left and they're going to call quarterback draw, and you will find that this play in particular is going to give you very, very good blocking for your quarterback. Now, the one thing that I will tell you is you don't want to hold right trigger until you're clear of the line. Otherwise, they will block shed and they will blow you up. But if you just keep it down and just kind of fall through, it will get you about two to three yards every single time. So that's what I got for you. That's the, the, the two critical elements that you need to know for how to score more touchdowns. The first one is going to help you work up the field um, from the 10 yard line to the 10 yard line. And the second one is going to help you help you execute inside the 10 yard line to finish the drives, not just start them. So we're going to give you a way to start the drives, which if you remember, we talked about that with using those uh, high percentage passing routes, like quick flats, quick outs, things like that. Um, and then we also talked about uh, what we just talked about right here is using this high point passing so that you're not doing what I'm doing right now so that you can touch, get touchdowns instead of field goals. Alex Mc Smith ended up overthrowing it on that one and we ended up having to settle for three points. But I recommend the Z spot and the quarterback draw from the gun empty bunch. Be sure to use the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. And for those of you guys that are new, I just want to remind you, I want to thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. And I want to ask you to do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you in any way, then consider hitting that subscribe button. You don't have to do it, but I would ask you to, to uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you're going to get all of the content that I produce for free um, right in your into your YouTube channel. That way you can get access to that content and then consider um, purchasing that premium membership which is in the description below thanks for watching guys and we will see you in about six hours